Hey everybody, Jazzy here. Welcome back to another episode of Don't Starve Hamlet with Wagstaff. We're in the apocalypse still. Five more days to go. Five more days. So we're getting pigskin. It's coming along. See, we're we're doing we're doing okay. Doing alright. Wait, question. Do I oh yeah, okay. So it looks like I uh, I can't count it because we probably started with like 20. So thus far we've probably made like 110 pigskin, something like that. Anyways, I was in the process of trying to find a bird, uh, trying to find a seed. And I'm guessing, well, you just, wait, did you just spawn? You just spawned, didn't you? Wait, are you still going for, no, you just, whatever. Another thing I noticed, check this out. Um, if I go back in, it actually shows where you are now. Before it used to be like, it used to make a random point like way like over here. Like, this is where... Is this where... Yeah, it looks like this is where... This is the actual location of the... Of the interior. Because you, you could tell from the vortex cloaks. But... It shows me... As being... Here. I hope that didn't make you too dizzy. But it's interesting, because before I used to... I, it, this is not the intention. Like, I want to be able to see the interior when I'm in the interior, so... Yeah, I'm hoping Clay fixes that at some point. Anyways, we can make... Oh, we can make another batch of eggs, so I'm gonna do that. Yeah, I've just been bundling up eggs, trying to get to those eggs back there, but without at least one seed. Because when I hammer the birdcage, I'll get one seed back, so I can use that to make another birdcage. But I still need one seed. And all the seeds that were that were on the ground when the apocalypse started have have undoubtedly rotted since then. My one regret. The one oversight. And I might as well bundle up these eggs. But yeah, things are going well. Today the apocalypse will end. And if it doesn't end, I'll go stop it myself. But um, yeah, I want to go see if I can find either a seed or a veggie. Because veggies have a chance of giving generic seeds. Matter of fact, that was it. Okay, so let's... Let's give these to the bird and see if we can get something other than stupid radish seeds and hopefully they fall on the ground in front of the bird, not back in the corner. <gasps> yes. Thank you. Thank you. One radish seed is all I need. Or one regular seed is all I need. One seed is all I need. Alright, buddy. Why are you still wet? And it's a little creepy. Were you watching me? No, I wasn't doing anything. No, I wasn't doing anything. Creeper, bro. Creeper Apocalypse, bro. You're the local Apocalypse. Uh, 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 uh. Voyeur? Is that the word? <laughs> you peek into windows? You make me want to like smash all my windows. Oh god, there was so much crap back here. Oh my god. Why did I think this would be a good place to put this birdcage? Oh my god. Oh my god, we're still picking up crap. Look at us go. Look yeah, look at all these eggs we would have wasted if we had kept Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, all right. Great. Wonderful. Life is good again. Let's make another bird cage, shall we? And this time, let's stick it over here. If there's if there's space, oh, there's just a little bit of space. So help me God, if you put eggs, if you put eggs right there, I will kill you. I will kill you bird cage. Yes, I'm talking to you bird cage. Not the bird inside, but the bird cage. Whatever. It's time for a bat wave. Let's go. Where are the bats? Where are they? This is the time of day they come around every day. Is it because I logged? Do they change their, their spawning time when, when I log out? That'd be a bummer, honestly. Oh, uh, but that's my, what, that might be what happened. Crap. Uh, what can we do? What can we do while we wait for bats? Well, we can go farm some snap tooth. Honestly, I'm surprised I, ha I didn't think to do that more before this. Well, farming snap juice, we can always use the root trunks and- or we can always harvest the root trunks and bundle them up. Yeah! And if the bats come, then we'll just, uh, we'll, we'll be around snap teeth. No biggie, no biggie. Although, I am gonna want- I'm gonna want another weapon. I've actually never been in continuous combat long enough to hear this full mel- uh, everything going on with this, uh, music. It's pretty cool. It's pretty nice music. As long as you keep fighting. Come on, I, I need to keep fighting. I need to keep fighting. Yes, yes. It's nice. I don't like that. But I like everything else. Oh, man. It's so cheap. It's so cheap when that happens. I'm kiting you, you jerk. I'm kiting you. All right, attack me. 
Oh, attack me! Attack me! Attack me! Got me, bro. I got a meat. Man, that is so cheap. So cheap. This is all so cheap. Oh, I hate that. I hate that. I hate you. How's my health? Ooh, yeah, not the best. Not the best. That was actually not great. Okay, now it's bat time. Great. Oh, so it looks like the bats reset to the to the top of the day. Works for me. And we are just boogieing on back over. Oh, uh, yeah, let's top off our sanity a little bit. Great. Come on, boys. Have at me. All right. I want to see if I can get these guys, because they're, they're... I probably can't without taking a bunch of hits. Woof! But, um, hopefully this guy... Oh, see, that's what I was worried about. That's what I was worried about. God, how do I get him? I suppose I could just try and tank him, but this is annoying. Come on, bite me. Bite me, bro. Come on. Come on. Come on. I don't want to tank you. Ah. Ah. Oh, maybe now I can kite. Ouch. Oh, ouch. That's not fair. You can't just spawn right on top of each other. That's not fair. Well, cool. Cleared out the, uh, the Herald, the, her the entrance to the Herald, uh, uh, ruins, which is nice. We still got a bunch of them. <laughs> we got a bunch of snap tooths over here. Oh, yeah, I'm not, I'm not really of the mind to clear all of them, but they might help to clear some of them. Or I could just throw on, you know, one hit kill mode and kill all of them, because, you know, there's I can kill these guys in my sleep. Just kidding. I wouldn't do that to you. I wouldn't do that. Come on. Come on, buddy. Ah, let's get it on. Besides, who would who would want to skip this kind of action? Who would want to skip this action? And then it just it just feels so good when they're all dead. It just feels so much better when you actually put in the work to kill them. Come on, buddy. Although it's times like those, man, you tempt me. You tempt me to hit that button. But I'm not going to, because I'm a good boy, and I don't cheat. <laughs> but, oh man, y'all are having a- y'all are having a festival over here. Eh, uh, no thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna pass this time. What would happen? Oh, my- my coffee ran out. My coffee ran out! Oh no! Uh, we can head on back. Let's head on back and, uh, I think we got- oh yeah, we got a bat wave coming very soon. What? What? Come on, guys. Come on, guys. I'm gonna forget about them, and then I'm gonna run straight into them next time I load up this area. I know it. I can feel it in my bones. Yeah, I don't know if I like what they've done with- they, they changed something with the- with the mini-map. It's got, like, a different set of colors. And I'm not super crazy about it. What I'm less crazy about is the fact that you can't see, you can't see where you you can't see your interior anymore. That seems like a mistake. That seems like I wonder if it's like, sorry, I'm just trying to like focus on. Oh, it's hard. It's hard. Oh, now I can't even. Uh, I rotated the camera. Can I get? Can I even see it? See, I can't even like get close enough to. All right, one mouse click and it's gone. Yeah, I don't think that's what was intended. But who knows? Who knows what Clay intends? Yeah, much easier keeping track of the bats when they actually appear when they're supposed to. At the top of the friggin' day. Should I eat coffee? I'll hold off. Yeah, this is a much nicer location for the birdcage. If eggs come out on the side, they just kind of... And then they come out either in the back or in the front. Much nicer. Anyways, I can make another bat bat, so I'm going to. I think it was two purple gems and a living log. Or maybe like one gem. One gem and two living logs? Oh yeah, one gem and two living logs. Cool. And it's actually, I'm spending more resources on the bat bats than on the tell locator staffs. I, I don't think I've used the tell locator staff at all during the apocalypse. I was I was planning on I was planning on keeping it around as like a fail safe in case I just like really need to get rid of the herald if they're, which I, there are probably a couple of situations with the bats where I, I probably should have <laughs> cast the Herald away. And just, you know, we worked around it. We figured it out. 
But yeah, the season thing is actually really nice. I like that change a lot. I like the fact that you don't have to deal with seasonal dangers on top of everything else going on in the apocalypse. It's nice that it just kind of... I don't know if it freezes the season that you're in. For example, I started the apocalypse in temperate season, so does it freeze me in the current season, or does it just default to, like, temperate apocalypse? As in, no fog, no brambles, no hay fever. Can you imagine having... I mean, I can't imagine because that's what it was like back in the day. Back in uh, back in early access, yeah, I honestly don't know when they changed that, but I'm I'm happy for it. It's been it's been a much mellower experience than it used to be in the apocalypse. The herald used to spawn inside interior, so like if you were going through the ruins or if you were just chilling out in your house, the herald could spawn like right inside your house and just like just destroy everything. There was really nowhere, no safe place against the herald. But this seems manageable. It seems totally manageable. And if I were to do this again, if I were to like, you know, start a world up with the intention of having a mega base eventually, I would consider just like letting the apocalypse start. Well, like figure out the location of the calendar. Let's just let it start and let it run for like, you know, 40 days. Although I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't have my cactus to keep me safe. So maybe. Maybe that's a bit of an exaggeration, but like I, I would want to get to this earlier because it seems very beneficial. Like you also get a lot of meat and uh, you, you get a lot of meat for, for eggs and gold and stuff. So there's a lot of good reasons to, to start the apocalypse. Anyways, I, I think I think I want to get back to those snap tooths, farm them a little bit. And uh, well, we got bat wave in coming soon. But, yeah, after that, I'll probably get back to the snap juice. I probably won't check in too much. We got three more days left. Um, maybe the next time we talk, the apocalypse will have ended. Keep my fingers crossed that it's a, it's actually a terminal, a terminable apocalypse. But we'll find out together. <laughs> Man, these waves have gotten progressively worse and worse. Unless there's a pigskin I missed. Like, these, these bat waves have been awful for pigskin. Or maybe, maybe I got lucky the first, the first, like, five or six rounds, but, like, not getting a lot of, not getting a lot per wave. It's a bummer. One thing I have been doing, which I don't know why I didn't think of this earlier, I've been shearing. We're right next to a thunder biome, or, or an iron biome, whatever the hell you call it. So we got, we got iron ore nearby, and you can collect grass pretty fast with, uh, with just a set of shears. One set of shears is two, is a full stack of grass, so... Yeah, just trying to make myself useful while uh, waiting for the end of this nightmare. I got an idea with these guys. I got a little weird idea. It's got me thinking. It's really got me thinking. Yes, exactly. Perfect. Perfect. Summoned. Summon ghosts. Now. I'm gonna lose the Herald's aggro. I probably could have done that a little more cleanly. Oh man, it's so crazy over here. Is that... Oh, that's the Shaft of Light? But yeah, these ghosts. I wonder if I could use them to farm Snap Teeth. I'm gonna find out. I'm gonna bring them into some Snap Teeth and see what the hell happens. It's an AoE effect, right? So... At least I think it is. But, let's see what they do with these guys. I'm curious. I'm really curious. If I just stand over here... Will these ghosts just pass through and murder them all? Oh, tell me you do. Tell me you do. Tell me you do. Doesn't look like an AoE, though. They killed one? Man, maybe I need to get more ghosts. Oh yeah, they they're, they're taking care of them. Oh, and the snap teeth are gonna they're gonna level up. Oh come on, guys, let's kill them, kill them. Yeah, I probably could have used an array of uh, of fly traps in a similar way. Yeah, now oh crap, now they're all gonna be they're all gonna turn to fly traps on top of each other. Probably don't want that. 
But I also don't really care. <laughs> uh, oh, interesting. Okay. Theory has been tested. <laughs> hey, buddy. Oh, not you, buddy. Not you. This buddy. This buddy right here. I want to see... Uh, okay. I figure I could farm a little bit of nightmare. Nightmare fuel while I was doing this. I'm going the right way, right? Yeah. I believe this is the last day of the apocalypse. <laughs> so this might be the last bat wave we get. We shall see. I've thought a bit about about what's next because I'm gonna want. I mean, obviously, we, we first we can go and use the pig skins that we got, build those townhouses. But the thing I want to do after that, I might. I, I want to go a bit exploring because I think. I, I, let me, let me tell you first what I don't want to do. I don't want to build a fire farm. And I'm not going to do that. It's just it's just too easy and not fun and doesn't and not interesting. So I'm not going to do it. No matter what. What I would consider doing is doing a bit of world hopping. We we've pretty much we've pretty much taken out everything in Reign of Giants. Why, man? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That actually did not destroy it. Come on, man! Cut that out. But yeah, I would be—I'd be interested in uh, in doing doing a bit of world hopping and exploring, going on a bit of adventuring. You know, that's kind of the thing that uh, that makes a single player don't starve so fun, is the fact that you can just like you can just keep hopping around worlds, different DLCs, and then world hop and generate new worlds. You never really have to set up a base anywhere, and that's something that DST never really figured out the the whole adventuring aspect. It's fun going on an adventure. So maybe after this nightmare, it might be might be might be good to to create a new reign of giants world and uh, and that'll give us the opportunity to raid to basically smash down a bunch of new pig houses and get a ton and ton more pigskin and boards and cut stones. So it's like it's worth it. It's a win win for sure. That was it though for uh, I believe the last day of the apocalypse. That was it for the bat wave. So. Now I guess it's just uh, sticking around and seeing what happens next. Nine pigskin. Blech. Could have been better. Well, at least while we're waiting, we can replant some of these elephant cactus. I want to see what happens to the heralds when the apocalypse ends. So I don't want to... I, I want to stick around these guys for now just to see what happens. Let's see if I can very quickly drop some stuff off in here. Ooh. I'm going to... Give it to the bird. Quickly, though. We got the end of an apocalypse to witness upstairs. Let's drop off these rocks, the rot, the nightmare fuel. Yeah, let's see what let's see what this looks like. Let's see what happens. I'm excited, guys. I've I've never done this before. In the thousands of hours I've played the game. Not Hamlet, but single player don't starve. I've never I've never sat through an entire apocalypse. And to be honest, it was a bit underwhelming. I feel like they nerfed the whole experience just a little bit too much. It used to be, don't, but don't get me wrong though, it used to be an absolute mess. It was not a happy fun time. Not that it was ever meant to be, but it was just, it was impossible. Like, you died in the apocalypse. This is what you did. There was no, there was no apocalypse survival. You just had to constantly stay on the move. Heralds were spawning way too fast for you to do anything about it. And yeah, there was there was no reason to kill them. The question of whether or not to kill these guys is still still the the verdict's out on these dudes. The vortex cloak is kind of an underwhelming item. Anyways, I'm saying a lot of I'm saying a lot of disappointing things. I really enjoy I really enjoy survival in the apocalypse. It's it's exciting and it's it's different. It's a very different experience. And yeah, I, as far as pigskins, I would like to see. I would like to see bats during the apocalypse drop more pigskin. I think that would be a good way to make the experience more enticing. Otherwise, it's just a thing to avoid. I don't think I would do this again just for the bat, just for the pigskins. I would do it for maybe for getting one vortex cloak and then stopping it. But yeah, I think, but so I, here's what I think they could do. I think they could, I think they could make the heralds more aggressive. I know I've, I took advantage of the fact that they're not aggressive at me right now, 
to survive for 20 days, but I think it would make for a more tenser experience if they made them never lose aggro on you, or at least keep an aggro on you for, for, for a longer period. Because right now it's just like you run away once and they just lose interest in you. And the other thing I would do is make the pigskin drops a little better from bat waves, because this is just... It's not worth it. I also think they could add more mechanics to the Apocalypse. I know that Hamlet is a finished DLC at this point, and the, the odds of them doing anything with it at this point are very, very slim. But I'm hopeful. I mean, they added they added Home Sea Home update to Shipwrecked, like, was it a year after Shipwrecked was out? So, I'm, yeah, I'm, I, will, I will remain hopeful that, that some more can be done with this mechanic, because it's such a cool mechanic, and it, it's, it puts such a unique spin on the idea of seasons in Don't Starve. The Apocalypse kind of exists in its own, in its own uh, dimension. The fact that you can control it is really interesting, and the fact that you can, you can try using it to, uh, to get resources a lot faster in a more dangerous setting. I like that idea. I, I think, I think DST pulls that off a lot better than single player, giving you like really dangerous situations with like a huge payoff. Take the Ancient Fuel Weaver for example. One of the hardest bosses in the game. Really difficult. You gotta you gotta do a whole bunch of shit, like jump through a whole bunch of loops to hoops to get it to get just to get to the fight, and then beating him solo is really challenging. But once you do, you get a huge reward. The ruins reset. What man? What? Oh my god! If you if you had killed me on the eve of the end of the apocalypse, I would have never forgiven you. But then you get to reset the ruins like it's a huge reward. It's a huge reward, but this is just there's no there's no huge payoff for this Like imagine it Like make the herald a little bit harder to kill Make him more of an endgame boss, but make the reward insane like What would be a good reward for killing the herald? Well first anyways <gasps> Oh Oh ho ho! Goodbye, Apocalypse. It was nice knowing you, but uh, we have to be on our way with our many pigskins that we acquired. Yes, we did it. We did it, y'all. Awesome. We got a bit of we got a bit of rope out of that. We got some stocks out of that. We've got some. Wait a minute. Is it supposed to be nighttime right now? Because it's not. Maybe it'll correct itself at the next day, but right now I can like see everything and it's nighttime. It's a little odd. Anyways, we did it! Time to pack up and, and head on home. Now, I, I do want to bring, uh, uh, I mean, I, I'm gonna have to bundle up some things because I got a lot of stuff here. Unless I made more than one trip. But I want to see if I can do this in one trip. That was cool. That was cool. Yeah, the Vortex Cloaks are gonna be weird to get back. I suppose I could just I could just carry one at a time, but it still means I got to make three trips back here. It's kind of, eh, not what I was hoping to have to do. Anyways, uh, I can bundle up food, though, and I can turn all this into food. I got root trunks, so I could make some. I could use those to. I'm sorry, I have uh, I have fly trap stalks, so I can use those to make more root trunks, which is always nice. But I think I'm just gonna turn all this into eggs. Yeah, and bundle, uh, make a bunch of bundles. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I got like three bundles full of food. I'm leaving the bead bugs here. I could probably, yeah, I, I need to make some more bundles. So like, maybe this... Well, I'll leave... God, this is so hard. Alright, Nightmare Fuel. We could do the Nightmare Fuel. You know, I actually think I might be able to bring most of this stuff back in one trip. Since I got the root trunk. Oh yeah, the pig skins. Um, let's... I'll just bundle up all the pig skins. That does make me happy though. The sight of the sight of a full bundle of pig skins, I do like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> so, okay, that stuff and that stuff. It's the top of temperate season, which is a little interesting, but... Otherwise, everything looks good. I'll leave the I'll leave the cactus armor here because I have more back home, I believe. 
It's too bad the Herald doesn't do some kind of, like, death animation when he dies. Or when, uh, when the apocalypse ends, like, No, you have defeated me! In that voice. No! Not Uncle Harold! Uncle Harold deserves better than you! Alright, I guess I'm gonna make a trip back home. You know what, before I go, I should, um... Before I go all the way home, I should say... Wait a minute, oh yeah, so I got the infroglis here. I should go down into the ruins and... Put the put the gem back in the in the focus so that I can go back to stopping the apocalypse again. Did I go the right way? Yeah, it's right over here. Yeah, I think so. Man, with all that nightmare fuel, I could I could take a trip to the. I want to make a trip to the end well, but I don't really need the gems at the moment. So I'm just gonna throw on these in froggles. Throw on a thulacite suit. Oh wait, I need. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh jeez, oh jeez. Wait, can I like, can I just reset that? Just for a second. Okay, so I need, <laughs> uh, of course I need a machete. Why wouldn't I need one? Okay. Suit, is it still gonna be going? It stops. I wanna check something. All right, so I triggered it. And it stops. Hey buddy, and it stops. Right? Yeah. That's the best way. That's the best way. Alright. Here we are. I think, uh, wow, I left my, actually left my lantern upstairs. That was a little silly of me. Bam! Focus is ready to be, to be teleported to once again. Let's get the hell out of here and let's, uh, let's go home. My boys have been waiting for me, my berry bros. They've been waiting very patiently for the apocalypse to end. And I want to, I want to show them. See, now that I'm in this interior, it totally works. I'm curious, where exactly is this? Maybe it's like on a separate map. So like when I'm in a when I'm in a ruins, the map is still working fine, but when I'm in the interior, it doesn't seem to be working. Whatever. Big whatever. Alright, where are we going? We're going that way. Oh, I should probably put on yeah, I should probably put on froggles. Oh yeah, the BFB! The BFB never came during the Apocalypse. And I seem to remember it coming back then. You know, last time I had an Apocalypse in uh, early access. Hey! Rejoice! Rejoice, piggies! But not for too long, there's a bird about to fall on our faces. Oh, maybe I should uh, put on some armor. Don't hurt me. Goodbye. Oh no! Took out two! Oh god, they don't like that, right! Oh god, now I gotta pay them all off. Boys, I saw- I- I sat through 20 days of Apocalypse for you! I don't appreciate that. Oh, but the lamp skins are so pretty! Right, I forgot I- I forgot I built all this crap. <laughs> I look forward to getting back to building more crap, honestly. Pack them! I'm home, buddy! Did, were you worried? Yeah, I know you were. Don't worry, I'm here. Yeah, I know you were worried about me. I know you're really worried. Don't worry. Don't worry, I'm back. I'm back, buddy. I'm back, and I'm here to stay this time. Until it's time to go uh, <laughs> treasure hunting. So, okay, I'm, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna bundle up. I'm gonna. I'm going to unbundle all of these things. I'm gonna s stick stuff away where it belongs. Oh yeah, and we gotta put throw this back up. Right. And then I think I wanna head back over to Reign of Giants and see exactly how many pigs pig houses we have left to uh, to take care of. Now, okay, well while I'm back at the ice box, let's just un let's just open things up. And I gotta find which one was the food. It was none of these. Although I can put stuff in here. I don't know what I was thinking with the Weevil Carapaces. Like, I was going to find random veggies and bun and turn them into uh, uh, hard shell tacos. I don't really know. All I know is that the food is the, the last two bundles I'm opening. Of course. All right, so I'm going to want to bundle up a few things. Where are... Oh, crap. I can, I can make a trip. Uh, maybe I should make a trip to the manhill and turn that stuff into honey. 
Not that we really need honey, but can't hurt to have more. All right. In the meantime, uh, this can go in here. No, I should I should bundle up this right away. So I will put it in with the light bulbs for some reason. All right. I'm gonna do. Wait a minute. I thought I had the. Oh no, it was this bundle with the light bulbs, right? Yeah. Okay. So in this bundle can go bulbs, nectar, and root trunks. Sounds good. Bulbs, nectar, and root trunks. Okay. So the eggs I'll bring with me to Reign of Giants. The coffee I'll bring with me. But I'll leave in here for now. And everything else I can put away. Awesome. Bat bats. You know what? Let's put bat bats in their own bat bat box. Hey. Hey. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We were actually putting stuff in here. That's awesome. Where were the other bat bats though? Where did I put the other bat bats? I had like five. Oh bat bats. Oh bat bats. Where are you? Oh, they must be in the. I had more bundles in here, right? Yes. Yes, there they are. You know, we're doing rather well. I should say. Got our pigskin supply back up. We're gonna go to Range Giants get even more. Um, I can keep what? I can throw some. I can throw some armor in the back. Yeah, and unbundle these guys. What do we got in here? Oh, there's the bat bats. There they are. What was in here? More eggs. <gasps> oh, we're gonna have a gold fest. Wait a minute. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. But we had a stack of rocks just chilling on the ground. Really? Cool. Works for me. I'm just gonna turn the rest of these into cut stone. Throw them in the cut stone box. <sighs> All right. Not a lot of resources to manage at this point. That's a good thing. So, when we world hop, the day count is going to reset, which means we're not going to have as many bat as many bats during bat waves, I believe. This is the one thing that I want to be mindful of. I want to fill this friggin' chest with bat bats. That would make me so happy. Um, but not today, not today, not today. Did I not bring my bird home? <laughs> I might have left my bird in the apocalypse camp. Oh well, let's keep you there. I gotta bundle these eggs back up. This will be, I'll, I'll bring this to Reign of Giants. It'll go right there. This can go back in here. And I think I will, uh, I should bundle up the other, the other guys too. Okay. I'm just about ready. I'm probably gonna do another round of coffee before going. And then I just want to see, yeah, I'm just going to go to Rain of Giants and go go full ham on those pig houses and see uh, see where that leaves us. You know what, guys? I just made a decision. I think when I world hop, I want to switch characters. I think I'm done with Wagstaff and his goggles eating up my, my pigskin supply. I don't think it's worth it. It's not worth having him around anymore. He was a cool dude. He saw us through many a humid seasons, but... um. Yeah, I don't think it's worth, uh, I don't think I need to have him around anymore. So that said, if I do switch characters and end up living in, uh, still living in Hamlet, which obviously I've done a ton of building, so I probably should, um, I need to, I need to get a pith hat <laughs> for whoever replaces, uh, wh whoever replaces Wagstaff, but I think, I think I know who, I, I, I got some, I'm, I'm, I'm vetting a few, uh, a few, a few proposed characters. All right, let's uh, let's make some dang coffee, shall we? I got like three stacks of ash. Let's just harvest all of it. Let's make all of it into coffee. Yeah, having another character is going to change a few things about this base. First of all, it's going to mean that we can actually benefit from drying racks. So we might want to set up like like fifteen or twenty because we'll actually be able to eat uh, dried meat without taking damage. It also means that we can eat raw honey. So we might not be relying on, uh, we might not be relying on, on our cooking station quite as much, excuse me. From, uh, I, I guess from, from what I just said, you could probably already rule out a few, uh, a few characters. <laughs> it will not be Wigfred. God, 
I would I would not wish that upon my worst enemy to play as Wigfrid in Hamlet. <laughs> no, thank you. Um, and I I guess I wouldn't play as a, a character who is unable to eat jerky. I still can't believe it. We spent 20 days in the apocalypse, and we did not get enough pig skins. <laughs> it's insane when you think about it. How many bats died? It must have been like 400 bats in the course of 20 days. It was a lot. I'm disappointed that we didn't get more pig skin, but I am glad that we that we had the experience together. Um, yeah, may, so uh, I have a couple of, a couple of thoughts before I before I decide to uh, to to world hop. That's kind of the last resort. I know that I can get those for easy resources, but I got one other idea which I will show you in the next episode. I, it's a thought. I don't I haven't tested it yet, so I don't know if it would even work. But if it does. It would be an easier way of acquiring pigskin on a regular basis. Even if I did end up using this, I would probably still world hop and switch characters. But, yeah, it, they would wait until after I built this farm. We'll see if it works first. So, uh, we, we will find out together if it works in the next video. I hope you, I really hope you guys are enjoying the series. I know it's been a long running series, and uh, but I really I really enjoy playing in this world, and I want to I want to keep want to keep keep at it at least until day a thousand. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next episode. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.